All right, Champagne. Caroen wanted Champagne or Gascogne, and I don't care for Gascogne, so we're going to try Champagne and see where we land. <sighs> so, here's the question for you guys. Who has watched any of Clicksport over on the Crown Channel? Who has watched Clicksport at all? Have you watched any of it? I don't know, Penguin. The crickets are deafening. Admittedly, the game they've been playing this week is not a huge one on my radar. Um, they've been playing a game called Free Fire by Garina. Mostly tier 8 matchmaking. Okay. Um, and, um, but I will say that if you're, if you're going to watch next week's World of Warships episodes... You owe it to yourself to try to go back and watch the ClickSport episodes that aired this week and try to kind of get caught up on the story. Because what happens is the tournament is interspersed with a little science fiction story where the characters are actually like on like doing things that link together. Not me. I'm just the commentator. But like the characters, the guys in makeup and costume that I that I work with, they're all they're doing stuff. I'll run the goofy little ad for that here in a minute. All right. Top tier. La Lorado, why do you have to suck so bad? I'll go up to C. I'll play the top end of the map. I've got the range that I should be able to play kind of behind C and still be useful, hopefully. Um, we'll see how it goes. I hope so, Garand. My struggle with Champagne remains hitting things with my 16-inch AP. Right? They say... You know, people told me, people tried to explain to me a few a few months ago, oh, it's a sniper battleship. You sit at range. Eh. I still struggle to hit things with this ship, right? Like, in general, my games with this ship have been pretty underwhelming because even at 15 kilometers, which I consider to be middle range, shells are just going anywhere they please. Ugh. Right? Ugh. But we'll see what we get. Gilron, I think you're right. I know the Ita like the Italian battleships line. The Italian battleships definitely benefited, definitely benefited from Deadeye. Um, I can see that about Champagne. I can see that about Champagne. Um, I didn't play her in that era because I don't play the ship very much at all. But you telling me that she benefited from it, I buy it. I absolutely buy it. I buy what you're selling, sir. The other nice thing about playing the top end of the map is if I decide later on I need to put on some speed and move, I've got my fancy French speed boost and I can do that, right? Because it's, tw uh, eight, yeah. Hetman, it's, it's hard to say. It's definitely different. It is very different what they're doing. They're basically telling a narrative in the guise of an esports tournament hosted by like sci-fi characters. I think I overled him. I did. Okay. Our booty only just got whacked. Oh no, guys! It's a Kanaisen now shooting at me at 19 kilometers. I'm horrified. That was not a Kanaisen. That was somebody else. That was the Massachusetts that hit me so hard. Can't leave my ride behind. See here, I'm at mid-range, and I'm not going to hit very much. I can almost promise you. <laughs> A casual 11k. Already I'm half dead.
<laughs> oh, go away, Ganice. God, you pissed me off. Another 11k. Through the ass, no less. When I play Ganice, I hit nothing. When this guy plays Ganice, casual 10k every time he pulls the trigger. Go figure. All right, we're going to stop back here. I'm supposed to snipe. Let's snipe. Tell me I'm a sniper. Let's prove it. <laughs> Ugh, secondary champagne? No, thank you. Pass. Now, 16 inch shells against the Harlem should be good. Should. Come on, shells. Land and do something good. Nope, you didn't. Our Massachusetts has chosen death as he takes two torpedoes. Do not understand his suicidal charge, but okay. Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. Let's see if we can hit the Nelson at 22 kilometers as he turns. Probably not. Ooh, look at that, an overpen through the bow. Amazing. That's the shot I came here for. Am I going to reload in time? Nope. Well, I would reload, but I still can't see his ass. Oh, there we go. That was a nice hit. Finally. There we go. Yeah. That felt nice. Take one of those. Mmm, delicious. Keep moving up, Mr. North Carolina. Ah, you're turning in. Yeah, but hunting cruisers at 20 kilometers feels a little bit challenging. Mostly keeping eyes on them at 20 kilometers while your team suicides! Ooh, this will be a good shot. Wait for my guns to reload. 
Well, I hit the Harlem. But he's still alive, the jerk. What are... What is... Dude, are you serious? Okay, I gotta kill this broadside North Carolina first. This guy is far more irritating than that New Orleans. But after we kill this dude, we're totally gonna kill this New Orleans. You guys not killed this guy yet? Oh my god. Gotta do everything yourself. Thank you. Hmm. Can't leave my ride behind. But I overpin the scores instead of kill him. Or I could kill him. That works too. Not going to complain about that. I hate competent cruiser drivers. Thirteen K on the narrow axis. I like that. I hate that we have no spotting on this Harlem. I probably could have killed him by now. Yudachi should have him in a moment. That's the shot I'm waiting on. There he is. There she is. You can't bow tank my guns, dude. You know that, right? Well, if you haven't figured it out, you're about to. Oh, the New Orleans is still alive. We can't have that. A uh, Harlem cannot bow tank 16 inch guns. There is not a tier 8 cruiser that can bow tank 16 inch guns. Unless they missed, unless I completely missed something on that armor scheme. Fifth tier 8 cruisers can bow tank 15 inch guns. Oh, okay, patrol boat. That's different. Yeah, that's that's totally different. Oh, hi. And it got such good gas mileage. Oh, I had the lead right on the New Orleans, but I missed the shot. Okay, good. The Fabuki's, I mean, the Devonshire's out. Fabuki can cap A. So, now we have to play well enough to deal with mid. KG's got a decent amount of HP. And I'm here doing my thing. And they have to at least moderately respect me. Ha ha ha. So...
There we go. I sit the NorCal again. Oh, and there's a New Orleans still to kill up here. Oh, and a Nelson. All right. They still have too many ships left. Lord have mercy. All right. We finally killed the Harlem. Our KG-5 is probably going to die. I got to kill this clown. Yep. KG-5 is out. Neither of those clowns should have shots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Mr. New Orleans. Uh-oh, Mr. New Orleans. Oh, overpens. Really? Three overpins on the New Orleans. Give me a break. Hmm. Can't leave my ride behind. Spotter airborne. Fabuki could hit the mass, the good when you did that. I think I can kill the NorCal. Come on, guns. Uh, I think I've got him here. Come on, get down, shells. Get down, shells. Yes, yes. No, don't shoot me, Massachusetts. All right, three and a half minutes. We've got a 200 ish point lead. Okay. I don't think I can stay. I cannot. No. Okay. I cannot stay away from the Massachusetts. He can run me down. I need him to turn and look somewhere else. That's not going to happen because I'm right here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and charge the Massachusetts. I think this salvo will probably kill me. Um, let's see if he let it right. No, he did not, so get wrecked. So we're going to go for the ram here. If we go for the ram, I think we can pull this off. And the, the Fabuki may yet get this dude. Fabuki put two more into him. So the Fabuki's giving me a, giving me a shot now to deal with this guy. Let's see if we can pull it off. He's done really good work, and he's going to be able to get in here for the cap. Dude's flooding. They finally killed the New Orleans. If I ram this dude, I'll give him a Kraken. That'll be kind of funny if it happens, actually. Damn. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. I citadeled him at that angle. Oh. How about them apples? Could I win this fight even? Could I win this fight even? Maybe I have to stop badmouthing this ship now, huh? Huh. Huh. Okay. That was a shock. 
No, I don't think so, Beowulf. I can't believe I citadeled him at that angle. He, I mean, I don't know what the angle was. I don't have the stupid cheater mod, but like it was, it wasn't that extreme an angle. I mean, it wasn't that. It, it should that should have been a ricochet, in my opinion. I was trying to get, I was trying to sneak some full pins in. There's no way I thought I'd get a citadel. I know, right, Castle? What the hell? What the hell just happened in this game? Fifty-two thousand HP, and I shelled out four kills, seventy-eight hundred seventy-eight K. A secondary kill, lull. First blood, high caliber, and a Confederate. Huh. Okay. No, Gailrond, I did not expect to win. There's no way I should have won that fight against the Massachusetts. I'm pushing him. His secondaries alone should chew me up. I'm made of Swiss cheese. This ship is French. It melts under any kind of concentrated fire. I guess I could be taking shots at the Nelson. Why am I sitting here talking when I could be shooting? I mean, I do have 25 kilometers of range, but like... <laughs> How's it going, Evan? Welcome in, my friend. But sh but utterly utterly baffling that game, utterly baffling. And a dreadnought. Wow. So, all right, chat. Legit question. I I need someone to help me out here. Am I have I have I just grossly misunderestimated this ship? Have I been playing it wrong? What about that game? I, I guess I'm just not understanding. I don't feel like I did anything differently that game than I would have done any other game I played this ship. And I've never, ever come close to a result like this in Champagne. Yeah, go ahead, Adeldrill. Um, I think I have to throw you a permit. So somebody somebody permit Adeldrill so we can post a clip. But like, if you know Champagne and you play this ship a lot, what am I just, is this just a lucky result? Is this normal? Is this expected? This doesn't feel like this something the ship should normally do. Admittedly, I got really good matchmaking. Like, I'm not facing, I'm not facing tier ten battleships, so that's already a, a a leg up, right? But I feel like something there is really, really wrong. <laughs> Agincourt then says, "All right, we'll give it a shot." Um. I cannot explain this result. Maybe Castle. Maybe that's what it is. I mean... I... I I pushed in... Okay, so... Let's go... Look, 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 let's look back at the game real briefly. I pushed in too close too quickly, right? I'm up against... I'm, I'm, I'm stuck because of my own, own dumb positioning. I'm stuck. Broadside to a Massachusetts and a Gneisenau at mid-range in the first five minutes of the game. Whose fault is that? This dumb guy, okay? So that... That obviously should not happen. I should not have done that. With that said, though, the gun performance was better than I expected. I You had a few wonky salvos. You expect that out of a battleship. I had a salvo where I did 15k to an end on New Orleans. So that's obviously something's working there. Um, so... Is it... I think maybe... All right, so here's the thing. I've never really particularly cared for sniper, ba sniper battleships because you're not, you're not equipped to push when you need to push. Maybe it's... I think that's, I think that's what I'm realizing. Okay, so a sniper battleship, you kind of have to play... You have to play at range and give your guns time to overcome the law of averages. Let's assume that one out of every five salvos will be garbage, Okay. Therefore, simply by default, the more salvos you put down range, the more good salvos you will have in the game. Maybe, Kyroan, but I don't think so right now. I want to kind of stew on this a bit. I, I feel like there's a lesson to be learned about Champagne here, and I want to try, I want time to absorb it. Because I'm, I haven't had a game, I think, that's kind of shocked me like this since, since you guys talked me into playing Vanguard with AP, right? That's been a couple of years. And, and this is a result that I look at and I just, I'm utterly baffled by. Because this is a ship that has never clicked with me. That I still to this day don't consider to be very good. And yet. And yet. So. Either I've accidentally stumbled onto something. Or. 
I got really lucky, or I've actually learned something, or some weird combination of the three. Probably some weird combination of the three. Anyway, more data is required. More data is required. No, Kyron, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm glad I this was a good game. I'm glad I'm glad you requested this. Thank you. Yeah, but Sarvich, I don't own a Slava. I'll never own a Slava because I don't like I don't like the sniper battleship playstyle, right? To me, this to me, the sniper battleship playstyle is is not interesting. I've sat in the room with the, the devs in St. Pete while they've explained to us why they want to do it. Fine. We all get it, right? You have to remember two years ago when we were in St. Petersburg, Slava was in early testing. Okay, so Slava was a ship at the time. She was highly controversial um, because she was encouraging a play style that the player base, most of the player base, feels battleships should not should not be able to fill. Okay, battleships are the best armored, the heaviest, the most well armed ships on the field. Okay, you need you need. Most team victories need a battleship up forward, forward-ish, mid-range, drawing the attention of torpedoes and incoming fire and projecting power, their ability to push cruisers away from cap zones, for example, okay? Um, and so the idea of a battleship that sits in the spawn area and goes pew, 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 you know, uh, you know, the little quick scope style sniper play, most players, myself included, found offensive. And so we had this we had this conversation in St. Petersburg with the balance team and the development team about this. Like they're like, you know, I'm in the room, it's me, Zath, Chase, Flambass, Flamu. These people like most of these people are not um um shy about sharing their opinion. And most of them, the overwhelming majority in the room was guys, this idea, we hate this idea. And they were adamant that this needed to be in the game, that this was something that um they really wanted to come to World of Warships to offer players who prefer this kind of playstyle. Okay, fine. But even yeah, even now, more than two years later, I still don't like the playstyle. And so a ship like Champagne or Slava that is like designed for that kind of playstyle, I look at and I immediately go, eh, right? It doesn't interest me. It doesn't interest me. And so now here we are, all these years later, I'm finally, I'm finally have maybe had one game where there's something has dawned on me about the ship. And now I'm kind of questioning like. I still don't think I enjoy it, but maybe there's something here. Maybe there's something to the idea of taking a ship like this and spending the first half of a match playing at 18, 20 kilometers and then moving up, right? Now you're bringing your full health battleship, even though you only have a 52,000 point health pool, like Rune and Hindenburg almost have your health pool, um, up forward where you can flex it a little better. And your guns are still fairly accurate, so you should be able to still do good work with them. So, yeah, I don't know. There's a whole conversation, I think, there. Um, I have never cared for Slava. I'm not even sure I've ever actually played a Slava. But I tell you, you know, um, Valiant brings up Smolensk. I'll, um, while I get queued up for another game, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a Smolensk story. Hold on. Let me get queued up for, let me do this North Carolina game for Kyle.